welcome to Give Me Apps. You're at Mall, the number one app store. GiveMeApps.com. Download apps for any smartphone or tablet. If you're a developer, pay no developer fees, keep up to 100% of your profits, and withdraw your earnings via PayPal whenever you want. No app store lets you do that. Today we're checking out Chrome Reader Voice by Technology Discovery for Android. This, as the name implies, does one simple task, and that is read a lot of text in your Chrome browser. It's as simple as copying an area of text and, of course, letting your ears do all the work and giving your eyes a rest. So we're going to go straight into this. This is very, very simple. You need to activate this, enable it, and once you enable it and you start working in your Chrome browser, it will work. Now, I have to be honest, we did not have Chrome installed prior to this review. We've been using the stock browser that comes along with our Samsung Galaxy S3, and we are glad that we did, in fact, download the Chrome browser. All right, so we're going to show you the app. Take a look here. Tap on Chrome Reader, and once you do that, you get this big menu. Take a look, you have the Enable and Disable. That's going to be your big friend there. You have the toolbar options, and we'll take a look at that. Take a look, 5 seconds, 20 seconds, small, medium, and large. We're going to go out of there. You have your pitch and speed. That's going to be very important because perhaps you may want it to be read back fast or slow. You can use that to set that parameter. We're going to tap on that and take a look at what happens. If you have pitch, you have speed, and you have another, pro you have another bar over there for um, test the, the pitch and speed. Let me re re um, recapitulate, recap. You have the pitch bar, the speed bar, and then if once you tap this key over there, you'll get the test um, what it would sound like at those settings. All right, we're going to go back, get that straightened out. It gives you some instructions. Select any length of text in Chrome and copy it to have it be read aloud. And you can also tap this to hear that. Tip, tap instructions to be read out loud. You have another tip over there. And, of course, your general pitch and speed bar. We're going to leave it here where it is. And, of course, that would be what we showed you earlier. And, of course, you have on the top there your media volume. We're going to keep it at the max. So there it is. Um, once you want it to stop reading, you simply shake your device and boom, done. So we're going to tap on exit. And we're going to go straight into Chrome. We're going to type something random. We type the Give Me Apps, which is, of course, our website, the um, world's number one in the Pen App Store. We're going to type in Give Me Apps, not .com, but just Give Me Apps. Or you know what? Let's just type in Learn. Let's do that. We'll type Learn. And we'll see what comes up in the Chrome browser. Take a look. Learning comes up. We, you can see that it's purple, and that's because we clicked on it earlier. We used that to test the app out in the pre-review. So we are almost three minutes into this. We did a lot of talking here, but we wanted to show you how the app works um, once you load it up. Now, remember, all the action is going to take place in Chrome, not necessarily the app. And here we are. And to select text on your Galaxy S3, or any Android device, or rather, you need to tap for a long time on the screen. Then you get this. And you just select the text that you want to hear. Now, once you're done there, you're going to tap on Copy. Forcing existing knowledge, behaviors, skills, values, or preferences, and may involve synthesizing different types of information. The ability to learn is possessed by humans, animals, and some machines. I'm going to shake our device. Progress over. T and take a look. Done. And you get that little menu over there. Uh, our screen turned around. That's okay. We're going to um, get that back in the correct orientation here on the camera. And hopefully it does work. And if it does not, then we'll just... Um, <laughs> Switch the orientation here. If you listen, once we did that, we got the menu for the app to come up once we shook the device, and it did read it. Now, what we liked about this was that not only did it read it, but it paused when it came across periods, it paused when it came across commas, which makes the reading a lot more fluid than we expected, which is great. We're going to try out um, something else. We're going to go back into our, um, our bar there, our address bar, and uh, we'll type in boats. I'm just making this up. We'll type in boat. And we'll tap go. And of course, uh, there you go, in Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a great way to test this out, by the way. We're going to tap on boat, see what comes up. And we're going to select some more text. So if you didn't know how to select text on your Android device, you learned that also in this review. We're going to tap for a while here on the screen. There you go. And we'll just get this little bit of text to come out. And we'll tap on copy. Lift it out of the water. Some definitions do not make a distinction in size, as 1,000 football freighters on the Great Lakes are called or boats. For reasons of naval tradition, submarines are usually referred to... shake our device now. And there you go. Voice reading stopped. And once again, our orientation on the screen changed, but that's no fault but our own because we have screen rotation on in the settings menu. All right, so... Guys, this is pretty simple. Um, from the listing, it says open Google Chrome or Chrome Beta, copy any text from the web page, put your device down, and listen. And we did just that. 
you got to hear the app in action, and the app works very well. I want to point out that some supported languages include English, Spanish, German, French, Italian, and more. Uh, there's also a disclaimer that Chrome Reader was built on an actual Android device and has been tested on many Android devices in order to achieve maximum compatibility for Android devices all over the world for people in need of this productive and educational app. So this app is going to have many, many uses out there. This is Chrome Reader by, once again, Technology Discovery. We do like the app a lot. It's very simple to use. Very simple menu there. And it works the way that it was intended to work. So great job from our developer. Don't mind us shaking our device. We need to take off the screen rotation um, settings so we can get this to be in the regular um, way, which would be, uh, I guess, portrait mode, not landscape mode. All right, so once again, we're talking about Chrome Reader. You have this lovely menu. Everything's very simple and easy to use. Check it out. Let the developer know how they did. Comment on this video. Let us know what you think about this, and if you would have any uses for this, comment and let us know what uses you would um, have for this app or what you could use this for. We said the same thing like three times, but... You get the idea. You are checking out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash app. Well, Give Me Apps is the world's number one independent app store. Download any Android app if you are an iPhone or a Windows phone developer. Showcase your app. Discover apps if you are a user. And, of course, you can download apps for any smartphone or tablet. Now, check it out. If you're a developer, you pay nothing to sign up for the website. You also pay no developer fees. You get to keep up to 100% of your profits and withdraw your earnings via PayPal whenever you want. No app store. Let's do that. Once again, we're talking about Chrome Reader by Technology Discovery. This is for Android. We like this a lot. We hope that you do, and we hope you enjoy this review as much as we did. Guys, till next time.